Warning, this game is darker and bloodier than the other previous titles. Don't play this game if that's not within your comfort zone. <laughs> If the Lord is our shepherd, are we the lambs that he fed and raised? But then, aren't the sheep raised as livestock, whose ultimate end is to be slaughtered by him? Matron, the new girl is trying to sneak away. Quiet, children. We're here to meet the doctor for everyone's monthly checkup. Wait, where's Joshua? <sighs> Did he run off again because he's scared of needles? Oop, nope, that's not the right button. Eh, ah, control scheme changes. Oh, never mind, I just can't interact with them at all. There we go. Hey, creepy girl, over here. The rock I jumped on to get this side is was crushed. Could you find some way to get me to the, on the other side? Bunch of random clothes. Found a short ladder. Found a short ladder. Fine, can't just walk away. Uh. Well, now what? Which one's the clothes will you take? Ah, okay. Think of chief. No, no, bed sheet. Take a bed sheet to tie the two ladders together. There we go. Good job, creepy girl. Oh, what a smart kid. That was very clever of you to think to use the ladders this way. What's your name, child? Where are your parents? I, um, Matron Ada. So, it's Ada. What a cute name. Eh? No, I, Grace Hart Orphanage. Oh, orphanage? <clears throat> Adopt her? I know this is a son, but somehow little Ada feels like one of us. I, I hope it's okay. We're doctors too. We'll give her a good life. Of course! It brings me great joy to have one of our children adopted by people of your standing. Girl, no, Ada, come here. I'm not Ada. I was just telling them about you. It's okay. It's what your future parents know you by now. So keep the name. Am I getting adopted? Yes, they want to take you in as their child. Your life is about to be changed, Ada. Goodbye. I hope you make the most of it. wants to play with me. H hello Wowzers. Hello there. What are you doing here, Mr. Clown? Ah, I almost forgot. I'm being sad. Boo hoo. Boo hoo hoo. Okay. Weird place to cry. But who am I to judge? Goodbye. W wait, aren't you going to ask me why I'm sad? Heard you the first time. It's because you have no one to play with, right? Yes, yes. Thing is, we are alone here. Why don't we play together? I don't know. Your attire tells me you're up to something funny. Yo ho ho! Good joke. But oh, please, let's play together. Do you know the way out of here? Of course. If you win the game against me, I'll show you the way out. Huh, <sighs> okay. What game are we playing? Ah, how silly of me not to tell you. The game we're playing is called... 
Last man standing. Eh? What the? Oh ho ho! Welcome everyone! To our weekly game of death. Eh? Aren't they? Oh, do you recognize them, little Ada? They are your parents. <laughs> L let us go! We did as you asked! We brought you a new contestant, like we promised. Contestant? Oh, sorry, but the time limit was 24 hours. You took 25 hours to bring this girl here. Which means... Death by irony! Ding, ding, ding. Correct. No, get away from me. Aren't you a surgeon, doctor? Well, I have dabbled some surgery as well. But beware. My hands are a little... <laughs> Slippery. Please spare me. I promise. I'll return the money I borrowed. I swear. Now, oh, now. You should have thought of that before borrowing it. Now stay still and let the audience enjoy what they paid for. <laughs> <laughs> a little snip here, a little snip there, and one more in the heart. <laughs> Operation successful. You are now a man without a heart. You didn't need it anyway. Give me a moment. I'll be right with you. Th damn you! Do you think you rich aristocrats of the Scion Empire can do whatever you want and get away with it? Shish, shish, lady doctor. Don't blame the rich. You were the one who borrowed the money. Since you couldn't pay them back, you should at least pay them some other way, right? No, 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 no! Ah. Operation successful! Man, I am really killing it! Get it? Killing it? Sorry for taking so long, little girl. Taking care of people who lost the game is a harder job than you think. Oh my, are you frozen in shock? We can't have that. The aristocrats paid good money for this show. Eh? Is it my imagination or is this girl poor? Boo. Eh? That's... Oh, finally a reaction. I was starting to think you were some sort of weird girl. I, I don't understand. Oh, it's a very simple little Anna. Survive all the games we arranged for you, and you can leave this place and- But why are you here? Eh? What? L leave me alone already! Eh? Who are you talking to? Er... Uh, is that person one of our guests? The hell? Does she think I'm in a school sport competition or something? Careful, Shepard. A wolf has disguised itself as sheep and entered your flock. If you're not careful, the wolf will eat everything in its path. Even you. I know all the dark places where my mind goes. And now I know how you make me feel is something primal. Wolf and Shepherd. Yo ho ho ho. Hey little Ada, forget about the audience and concentrate on me. Are you ready for the first round? G go away already. Hey, are you listening to me? Yeah, yeah, something about you ignored by your parents as a child, blah blah blah. I wish my mother ignored me too. Why you little? Now, if you'll excuse me, I got bigger- Oh, she's gone. For now. Hey, why the hell are you so calm? Are you touched in the head or something? Is this the guy dressed as a clown going around murdering people? 
You don't have the right to ask me that question. Why you? Let's see if you can keep up the brave front after you lose the game, and I slice you into little pieces. Whatever. Don't forget you promised to let me out when I win. Oh ho oh, oh. ho! This clown does a lot of vile things, but breaking promises is not one of them. I have a reputation to protect. Bring in the other contestants. Ouch. Oh, who do we have here? Mr. Thug, would you care to explain? He is Kit, a gardener of a member from the audience. He stole from them, and as punishment, they sent him here. It seems this game takes in a variety of contestants. Eh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please let me go. I will never steal again, I, I swear. It's okay, Kit. Sure, you can die horribly in this game, but if you win, you'll be given a huge sum of money. Eh? Really? Yo ho ho! Yes. Not to mention, you actually have a good chance of winning, seeing as your competition is a little girl and... Whoever comes out of that door is... Yeah. And who is this, Mr. Thug? Full of you to assume my gender. Full of you to assume I give a damn. Whatever. This woman, Richel, came here of her own volition. Eh? She heard about the prize money and decided to enter this death game of her own choice. And here I thought the clown was the arranged one here. After she left, that is. He he he. A wimpy gardener and a kid. Who would have thought it was this easy? Now that everyone is here, let's begin our first round. 20 questions! Correct! Alright, I'll admit that was pretty cool. I wonder if he keeps them in his butt. But how does he take them out with a stick up it? The stage is set. Everyone take your places. The rules are pretty simple. Each of you has a card with a word written on it. The other players will try to guess the word by get asking 20 questions in total, and the person with the word must answer yes or no to them. Oh, and lying is not allowed. Otherwise, you'll be eliminated immediately, and I don't have to tell you what that means, right? Since this little girl has annoyed me greatly, she will be the answerer, and you two can ask her questions. Then we'll move on to the gardener, and then the woman. The one who wins five times will be the winner, and move on to the next round. And the person who is last will be... Ho ho ho. Oh. Come on, big money. Little Ada, memorize the word written on the card and give it to me so no one can cheat. Okay. Got it. You may begin questioning Ada now. Question number one. Is it a living thing? Nope. Question number two. Can it be touched? Yes. Qu question three. C can it fly? Yes. Ah, ah. Is it a paper plane? Nope. Ah, uh, uh, then it must be a kite. Ding, ding, ding. That is correct, Mr. Kit. You got the first point. But phew. Damn it. That was my second guess. I've never flown a kite before. I wonder if they can lift a human being. That's what you were thinking about? We can literally die here if we fail. Whatever. There's someone far more terrifying out there who sees death on a daily basis. Now then. Our next answer is mi answerer is Mr. Kit. Check the card and memorize the word. Y yes. Got it. All right, ladies, fire away. Is it a living thing? No. Can you hold it? Yes. Five minutes later. Hmm. It is not a living thing. You can hold it. It's used in some sporting events. It's spherical and shit shape. Is it a ball? Ding ding ding. That is correct, little Ada. You got your first point too. D damn. No! Wh why wasn't it a helmet? Those are round two. Isn't it weird that I'm kind of enjoying this game? Yes. Okay, just ke just checking. Now then, our next answerer is Miss Ritchell. Check the card and memorize the word. Yes. Oh-ho! This is a good one. You guys will never get it. Alright, people. Have at it. 
Is it a living thing? <laughs> no. Is it a place? <laughs> yes. Five minutes later. Hmm. It's a place, but you cannot live there. It can be stood on, but it is not recommended. It isn't very big, but it is long. Ah, it's a river, right? Nope. Is it a road? Ah. Ding, ding, ding. That is correct, little Ada. You got your second point. Damn. N no, I, I can't be last. This isn't happening. River? What are you thinking? Since when can we stand on a river? Sh shut up. Where did this creepy girl even come from? Ask my mother. They'll probably get more than you hope for when you meet her. Yeah. So it wasn't my imagination. This girl is truly weird. All right, Ada, it's your turn again. Right. Word is depression. Hmm. Even though one can only answer with yes or no, I think the way to say it can also affect its results. Let me try. All right, people, go. Question one: Is it a living thing? Nope. Winks it, kid. Hey? What does that mean? Is it related to a living thing? Wait, it could be a trap. Question two. It, is it food? Fine. Nope. Nods vigorously. Eh? What the hell does that mean? Is it a food for some people? So is something consumable? Question three. D does it affect your brain? Yes. Uh, eh? Could it be a happy emotion? Ah! Is it happiness? Nope. Which is it? You are literally killing me here. Is it joy? Nope. Is it surprise? No. Five desperate minutes later. Ding dong! You've used up all your 20 questions. This round goes to... Little Ada. D damn it! What was the answer anyway? Depression. But, eh? But you. But I what? Ugh. I was tricked by this girl's happily nodding away. Who'd guess that was such an energetic mood nod? Now then, our next answerer is Mr. Kid again. Check the card and memorize the word. Yes. Got it. Alright, ladies, fire away. Five minutes later. Hmm. It's a title that is not earned. One is born with it. It is given to the females. The title can be upgraded with my marriage. Uh, da 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 da. Definitely princess. Is it a. It, it's a princess, right? Nope. So close. Eh? But. but those eyes. It is something close. Could it be. Is it a title above a princess? Yes. Scared look. I am very close. Could it be an imperial princess? Ding ding ding. That is correct, Lulata. That's four points altogether now. Th this can't be happening. This can't be happening. Sh she's just one point away from winning. I am glad I am in second place. I wonder who's the sponsor for this death game? The guillotine company? Who cares? Just curious. Now then, our next answerer is Miss Richill. Could this become your last ever round? N no, I don't want to play anymore. Pick up the card, Miss Richill. I, I... Look at it this way. If you play, you may or may not die. But if you don't... Ow! You will definitely die. Now pick up your card. Okay. N no, this can't be. All right, people, let's go at it one more time. S stop! D don't. Is it? Fine. 
No. Ding, ding, ding. That is correct, little Ada. You got your fifth point, which means... Death by 20 hits. Correct. Well, wait, I... <coughs> ah. Yo ho ho, that's one down. 19 more to go. No, so stop, little girl, help me. Why should I? Eh? Are you really that vicious? Let me answer your question with another one. Do you think you would have pitied me if I was in your place? Eh? I didn't think so. Besides, unlike us, you came here on your own volition. You have no one to blame but yourself. I am sorry. I'm really sorry. I am... Save your begging. For when you're in hell. <coughs> Tell me a bedtime story. Eh? Are you talking to me? Who else is here? I can't sleep cooped up in here ever since you guys put me here in here since last week. You do realize you're a child hostage being forced to participate in a death game, right? All the more reason to tell me a bedtime story so that the fear doesn't overwhelm me and I can fall asleep peacefully. Do you think your boss clown will be happy if I'm not in my best shape during the game? Ugh, that's a good point. All right, I'll tell you a bedtime story. <clears throat> In a kingdom far, far away. How far are we talking here exactly? Who cares? Anyway, there was a very cute looking girl who was being harassed by her stepmother. Oh my, what'd she do then? What else? The girl had enough one day and cut the bitch open with a, like a pig. And she showed it as an accident and got the insurance money from the company. Then she lived happily ever after. The end. Finally. It's a good thing for situations like this that I can't sleep. Not to mention that I managed to swipe the keys from his pocket this time when he was telling me the story. Hmm. It's been a while since Mother showed up. I just know that she'll appear by the end of the day like always. Let's think about that later. I should leave now before they finish preparing another death game for me. Why is there a piano here? That's terrible decor for a hostage room. It kind of takes out the fear of the situation. Okay, nothing along the bottom. Not even light. is not for this door. The key must belong to something else. How do I get out now? Oh? There's a note on the back of the door. Did the bad guy not see it? A weak mind, hiding behind a facade of bravery, is like a cracked wall, hiding behind an inconspicuous closet. Looks like whoever wrote this was either writing in code or had lost his mind. One, two, three, two, one, three, two, one. Uh, one moment. Okay, I wonder what this code means. Where's the closet? <coughs> nope, not that closet. This closet. This closet has a cracked wall behind it. How do I get past the closet? It's currently tightly locked. Maybe it's the piano. And three, two, one. Ah, it started playing on its own. Something just came out of the top of the piano. Let's find out what it is. 
leads a piano alone. That's some good music. Kind of primal in nature. Okay, well, what's the thing that came out of the top of the piano then? Oh wait, is that something in the bottom left? Yeah. Found an X. This closet has a cracked wall. No, use the X. I think she can use the axe to break it apart. I mean, I saw Mother carry it around once. I don't know if she used it to hack wood only. Oh wow, it evaporated. Ah, it's a sliding block puzzle. over there. Can I push him off? Nope. Found a piece of a note. Don't let them know. Better not go in there. I'll be found out immediately by those wolves. Then, how do I get rid of them? another lever in here. There we go. Don't let the devil know. Oh. didn't work. Ah, okay, I think I get it. Now I can knock him into the thing. have happened. Crud. Alright. Gonna have to reset. Okay, back to here. So, save. If you push it again, the wolves get released again. 
entertaining. All right. Let's see what's up with this. So, uh, push. Push. Wait for him to stand right there. Oh, well, never mind. Point of credit, half point of credibility there, but better than having to pull this thing over and over. Okay, missed my opportunity. Just have to wait for him to circle around again. And go. No! Dang it. Dang delay. Where that he is hiding. Ah, okay. that actually do anything for me? Oh, wait, duh. Well, what's next? It is the note guided me. Oh, damn it. I regret nothing. Give me that fruit. Do you not understand basic English? Give me back my fruits. Now, now. Everyone share your food nicely. There's a dinner table, not a fighting ring. I ain't touching a morsel of it unless you tell me what you're planning. Aw, oh, but I worked so hard on it. Surely you'll not let my hard work in making this dinner go to waste, would you? Uh, um, please stop looking in my direction. I really want to eat this, but I'm also highly suspicious of this glamorous meal. Uh, is this food made of humans? Is this your sick new game? For the love of! Do I look like a lunatic to you? Yes! I am annoyed by your unity in that answer. Incoming! Best slide ever! Eh? Huh? Is that a kid? L little Ada? Yo ho ho, you finally made it. Huh? The clown? Why are you in my escape route? Yo ho ho, did you really think you were escaping? It was a trap? Ding ding ding, correcto. You bastard, you brought a little girl to these games. You were a monster. Really? What was your first clue? Huh? Wait, is this fancy food? Well, wait, little girl, the food might be poisoned, so... Nom 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 nom. She ate it. <laughs> Finally, someone ate my hard work dinner. Uh, uh, little girl, how is it? Does the food taste poisonous to you? Hmm? Is that slang for delicious? Nom nom. Ah, let me introduce you to your fellow contestants. 
the one that asked you the question is called Laura. Really? Never mind then. Om nom nom. You're a new kit, the gardener. Ah, screw it. I'm really hungry too. This young lady is called Emma. Uh, uh, um, is it really safe to eat this? That old man over there is a cop called Darwin. D don't eat the food, people. There's clearly something wrong with it. And that handsome young man over there is Matt. Yuck, this is salty. Give me back my fruits. Nice to meet you. Huh? Wait, did all of them also try to escape like me? Of course. Well, to be honest, these are the people who managed to reach here after escaping. Wait, so there were more? Don't tell me. Yep, they all died while escaping. Plus the empty chairs. Oh, ha, ha. Huh? Wait, did all of them also try to escape like me? You monster. Wait, I don't understand. So much turning my head around. Maybe it was a bad idea to sit in the middle. What is it? Aren't these games performed for your audience? Why would you kill them off stage like that? Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho, little Ada. That was a very smart question. Let me answer your question with another question. Have any of you noticed the mirrors all over this place? Mirrors? Lights off. <sighs> they have been watching you this whole time. Yeah. Th th that. Wasn't there only. Wasn't there one in my room too? Hmm. I'm used to be treating being treated as a display. I know some of these people. Their aristocrats are in the police. Now I know why I was caught. Mother is not among them. Is she looking at me from somewhere else? Huh? Wait, if we're currently being watched, doesn't that mean... We're currently in a death game. Kit, you're being awfully silent. Kit? Uh, uh. Ah. He's vomiting blood! Oh my, it seems that Kit is dying. I wonder how that happened. Th th that's You must find his killer to win this game. Find the correct one and you will all survive. Except the culprit. What the hell? Fail and you will all die. Except the culprit. Yo ho ho. Damn it! I knew it! Kit, hold on! Is he... He's... gone. D damn it he, he... Feel free to talk with each other and gather clues. The person that will solve this case will get a special prize. Solve this murder as if your life depends on it. Yes, 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 yes. Just like every single other one of these games. Also, Kit and the Clown can be interacted with? Okay, yeah. I hope you're enjoying the games. Make sure to rate us if you survive. I give it a 2 of 5. I want to come back, but I'll recommend it to an enemy. Ho oh, ho ho! Good to see you in high spirits to make jokes. You don't mean, mind me asking. I do. Doesn't matter. I'll ask anyway. Why do the death games even exist? Then let me ask you this. Why does an employee go out to smoke whenever they get a break? Stress? Yes. Do you have any idea how stressed these aristocrats are after working hard for this country? Stressed enough to enjoy death games, apparently. Of course. Seeing real human emotions in a time of crisis is the most entertaining and relaxing thing in the world. If we want this country to prosper, we need to make sure our aristocrats stay happy, don't we? Whatever floats your boat. Can't check the mirror. Can't eat all this food. Uh, oh, hello. What are you doing in the corner? I, I... I'm staying away from the mirrors. So many creepy eyes staring at me. I, I'm scared. 
I get it. I also wish that a certain someone will stop staring at me. I I'm sorry that I'm not helping. Even a child like you seems calmer than me. How did you end up tangled in this mess? I, I was bought. Bought? You mean like a slave? Yes, I was sold into slavery by my stepmother who stole all my dead father's fishery business. How tragic. You should have listened to the story told me told me about the bad guy. What? Nothing. Let's just get past this stage. We'll find a way out later. But thank you. If we ever escape, I'll take you to a beach. It's my favorite hangout place. The beach? Really? I've never seen an ocean before. I have two reasons to escape. She's gonna be the murderer. Goodbye, Kit. Your luck was going to run out sooner or later in this game. Damn that clown. Officer, considering that Kit vomited blood before he dies, is there a chance he was... Fine. I mean, poisoned is the obvious chance, if you were asking about a chance of it. Of course he was poisoned. Look at his purple face and swollen cheeks. All signs of a toxin in his body. But how did he ingest the poison? That's what I'm trying to find out, too. Alright, check the body. By the way, those thugs you pushed down the hole, they're dead now. Because I killed them for incompetence. What about the one that I, uh, fed the wolves? The hell do you want, kid? Get lost. Such hostility. I don't have many friends with that attitude. <laughs> from where I come from, the only friend you can trust is a shiv. Shiv? Could it be? Are you from... Aw, I was hoping for a burn. I, were you a prisoner? Not was, I still am. Eh. The clown promised to get me out of jail and give me tons of money if I win this death game. And you agreed? When you're serving a life sentence for killing your brother, a death game is a once in a lifetime opportunity for me. I'd rather die than rot in prison. And you came to the right place. Little girl, stay with me. I'm an officer of the law. I'll protect you in case something happens. I highly doubt it since you're also at the mercy of a clown. Damn it, you're right. If only I had not been caught. Those damn traitorous aristocrats. Were you investigating? He could be investigating like three things. Any of them. Were you investigating the clown? Yes, I knew there was something weird about random, about people randomly disappearing here and there. My search brought me here. Does anyone else know that you're here? Yes, and I hope they can find me before the corrupted aristocrats take action to stop them. I hope for your success, but I also am skeptical about, skeptical about the chances of it. Sorry and solve this case. This cake looks very delicious. I'm surprised you can think about food in a room where a dead body is present. Yeah, I know. My mother always did say that I'm a glutton. My mother never talked to me before. I'm starting to think she's simply mute. A lot less scarier for me. How did a child like you end up in this hellhole? I was brought here by my adoptive parents. How horrible. That's okay. The clown killed them. But what about you? Eh? Me? You're abnormally calm. Did you enter this death game out of your own will? How did you know? You remind me of a certain someone. Then you came to the right place. Um, uh, I can't remember how her name was spelled. She also joined in the game on her own for money. Are you the same? Yes. I need money for my leg surgery. Leg surgery? But you walk normally. I, I was an athlete. I tended my leg was damaged, and I can't run anymore without collapsing in horrible pain. I'm sorry. Don't be. My life is nothing without my career anyway. I'll win and I'll get that surgery. Good spirit. First we need to solve Kit's murder. Yes, you can count on me. Okay. Now for clues. Autopsy report. I have the same report you have. I, I don't know what happened. I was on the other side of the table. Hey, you were seated next to Kit, right? Yeah, not the front row seat of a show I wanted. Can you 
you recount anything that might have had anything to do with Kit's death? Um, I'm not sure, but I don't think it was the food. His food? Do you mean the fish? Why do you think that? Because he already ate the fish once before you came. He was fine then. So it was something else? That's weird. How the hell should I know what happened? I was the one seated furthest away. Since you are also a witness, I think it's my right to question you in this case. I hate that kid for not finishing his dinner. Well, considering that he died, there was nothing that could have been done to address that issue. Mimi, I'm going to punish you for that. Hey, stop that! I needed to finish your damn game! Oh, me. Take this. <sighs> I should stop before he goes nuts. I was a fool expecting the clown to help. Despicable way to kill someone if you ask me. I already checked the body. Oh, hello again. Hey, I'm currently researching Kit. Is there anything interesting you can tell me about him? That's... Hmm? Why are you looking over there? Could it be, uh... Are you looking at... Ah! Gonna have to start over. Alright, be back in a bit. Okay, back here. Uh, da, 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 skip. Oh wait, right. Need to uh, select this. Currently researching kids. That's looking at whoever the third option is. Matt. Are you looking at that Matt guy? Yes. He and Kit were the first to arrive before me. When I dropped in, they were fighting. Over what? It seems that guy wanted to kill Kit to appease the clown. He he asked. He asked whether the clown would let him go if he tortured and killed Kit for their show. That desperate, huh? Y you can ask the clown too, although I don't recommend it. That's okay, I believe you. Yeah, I don't want to look at a dead body. What? I heard you had a falling out with Kit. What? Who said that? I'll gut them. I don't think the death threats will help your case. Whatever. Yes, we fought. That bastard kid tried to strike a deal with the clown. Wait, so the roles are... Kit was the one who wanted to kill you to appease the clown's audience? Yes, that rat bastard wanted out of this game one way or another. So he tried to butter up the clown by sacrificing me. So I offered the clown the same deal, but I added torture to mine to make it more appeasing. Now that I think of it, it was around that time that timid girl dropped in. She's the one who told you that, didn't she? I can't blame her, she was simply being honest about what she heard. Whatever. You were investigating the clown, right? Yes, why? Why can't you tell me about his... Dang. Uh... Hmm. Identity? I'm not sure, but I do know that one cannot make such a huge death game with just money. We we'll need power, the kind of towers of the law to make something like this. The kind of power that only someone on or above the level of a duke can have. A duke? A duke is the highest aristocracy level after the royal family. I see. Thanks for laying me on this. I, I don't know if we should talk badly about him when he's present. He can literally kill us all. Don't ask me about that guy. I don't know. And I don't want to know what he's into. I already checked the body. I'd rather not talk about him. I can see him, feel him staring into my soul. Hmm. Kit. Clown. Uh, Ada. Matt. Officer Darren. Darwin. Emma, Laura. Okay, that's not what I wanted. I want the... Okay, so I need to find two more clues. Ah, 
Ah, the food. This is the fish that Kit ate. What should I do with it? I should play it safe and eat, not eat it. Good choice. That fish is poisoned. Really? How do you know? Look at the skin of the fish. It's turned a little blue in some places. Oh yeah. Lars said that Kit ate it once before and nothing happened back then. Either the bitch is lying, or it was a slow-acting poison. Either way, this fish is the reason why the gardener died. I see. Thanks. I'll recheck the fish. Can't check the cake. What is it? Well... Ah, dang it. According to Lara, the fish wasn't poisoned, but Kit's body says otherwise. I don't get it. Hmm, let me see. Smell. The fish is poisoned indeed. Wait, what's that below the plate? An injecting device? What does that mean? It means the poison was injected through the plate to the fish from inside the table. I see. So when Lara said Kit was fine after eating first, it means the poison wasn't injected yet, right? Yes, it seems that... Wait. This... Even this plate has it. No, all the plates have the same mechanism underneath them. Are you saying any one of us could have been poisoned? Precisely. That clown has some serious answering to do. I already told you about the poisoned fish. The fish was poisoned? Does that mean I can eat anything except that? P poisoned fish? Oh my god. I'm glad I didn't eat it. Hello, officer. How can I help you? But you're acting. We know about the mechanism. Am I being detained? Did you poison one of us randomly and make a case out of it for the game? Of course not. I'm just the host. I just set the stage up and watch the participants play. So, you did not kill Kit. Nope, one of you did. The mechanism below the plates does not only poison your food, but it allows one to poison others as well. Eh? You mean one of us used the mechanism to poison someone else? Precisely. But why? Now, now. If I told you that, wouldn't that spoil the game? Ugh. Oh yeah, I didn't like that you accused me for being the killer, so for that... Stop doing that. Never. Okay, uh, save, because I don't want to do all that again. And I got one more clue to find. Oh, hey, a cloth. Where'd that come from? Hmm, what's this? A note? Choose one is written on it, and there are instructions on how to operate the hidden mechanism. Could it be this note was dropped by the killer? The killer dropped this note. But was it an accident or on purpose? It's a despicable way to kill someone if you ask me. How the hell should I know about a note? What do I look like? A snitch? Do you have food on you? Food? No? Perhaps the he smell is coming from something else. How about this note I found? It is giving off a funny smell. Oh, I was right. The smell from this note is the same as the food from the table. The note smells like the food here? Could it be... Okay, so which food? This is it! This is it! going on? This is the smell I was getting from that note. The cookies kept over here. Cookies? These cookies are not normal cookies. They're fortune cookies. Fortune cookies? You mean the ones with the little message inside of them? It makes sense if you think about it. The secret note was inside it, which instructed a person on how to operate the mechanism. Om nom nom. What the? Don't need the evidence. We might need it later. Oh, fine. 
fact, they're salty anyway. Misfortune cookies. Alright, well, that means that he's the one who is the murderer since he was sitting there. Open and shut case. Note? Oh my, I wonder what that means. <laughs> You're working hard, little Ada. I feel like giving you a little gift. Is it freedom? Oh my, no. But it is the next best thing. A tip. Okay, what is it? One of the contestants are not who they say they are. Eh? What? Why? Because that person is the murderer and my spy. Yo ho ho. That's. I'll give you some time to process it. Let me know when you're ready to point towards the killer. Yo ho ho. I think that was everything I could get. I should regroup with the others. Alright, Kit. Kit was a gardener who was forced to participate in the Death Games because he stole from one of the attending aristocrats. The clown is the host of the Death Games and is a psychopath with no pity for human life. I'm also certified to perform in children's parties. The child who was adopted by the slain doctors from the Graceheart Orphanage. She's stalked by her birth mother, which terrifies her. Mother should be here any time now. Matt is an easily agitated person who is in who is serving a life sentence for killing his brother. The hell are you looking at? Officer Darwin was caught and forced to join the death games when he was secretly investigating the clown. I will shut down these games. Emma was sold into slavery by her stepmother who grabbed all of her father's fishery business. I want to leave. Lara is an ex-athlete who joined the death game for money for her operation to heal her leg. I really miss open spaces. Participant Kit just choked and died. Lol. I can see at least 10 problems with the way this police report is written. Oh right. As someone who competed against him, I knew it was a matter of time before this happened. He brings clowns a bad name, as if they weren't creepy enough to begin with. She's taking her sweet time. I hate when she builds up suspense like this. I guess prisoners serving a life sentence see joining a death game as a second chance. Glad to see at least one competent cop in this country. How tragic. Another money goblin. Should've just married a rich guy instead. Laura saw a kid eat some of his food, but he was fine then. Are all athletes such muscle heads? I was an idiot expecting the clown to say something valuable. The clown is mad at the dead Kit because he cooked all the food by himself and Kit didn't finish his share, wasting it. The Kit that the fish that Kit ate was poisoned. I guess the vegans won this round. A hidden mechanism beneath the plate injected the poison in it. The same mechanism is below every plate. So there was a chance that all of us could have died? Oh, actually, he was saying that he wanted his fruit bat. Who was sitting in this seat? It was either him or her. I can't remember. The, pro the clown proclaimed that the mechanism had buttons to poison each other's food. I guess I have no choice but to take his word for it. Dead Kit. Kit's dead face is swollen and turned purple, suggesting his death may have been due to poisoning. That's one heck of a way to die. Emma pointed out that Matt and Kit were the first to arrive, and they had a heated argument before Ada arrived. I'm surprised people have the time to fight each other in a death game. I mean, that's kind of the whole point of it. Matt admitted he fought with Kit, but it was only because Kit offered to kill him to appease the clown. They're starting to treat the clown like a god now. Choose One is written in the crumpled note along with instructions to operate a hidden switch. 
seems Kit's luck ran out sooner than expected. The note smells like food, according to the hungry athletes. I wonder if I should allow this annoying woman to eat the food. Misfortune cookie. The cookie gives off the same smell as the note, suggesting it was inside the cookie. That's one way to pass a message to someone. The clown says that the whole point of the game is to entertain bored and stressed aristocrats. Couldn't they have tried yoga instead? Darwin suggests that the clown is possibly a duke or higher to be this prepared against the law. Above duke? Could it be... Revelation. The clown revealed that one of the other contestants is actually his spy, and also the killer. What a twist! Oh, are you ready to point to the killer? Did you just eat the entire cake? Sorry, I was really hungry. But that cake was for everyone. Even the ones who didn't show up. Because they died. Don't that shame me. That's hard not to. Enough. Why did you tell us to regroup? Yo, oh, ho, ho. That's right. Little Ada says that she has found the killer. What? Child, are you sure about this? Yes, which is why I asked everyone to be present in front of me. Well then, who is it? Remember, if you guess wrong, I will snap your tiny little neck. Hold on, haven't you heard the, of build-up? Eh? First, let's discuss about the how, why, and who. What? How it all happened. Why was it Kit? Who is the killer? Ooh. You make me want to make you a co-host. Such drama. Such suspense. Let's begin. Wow. As probably all of us know by now, Kit's death was due to poison. Yeah, he was poisoned to death. His face has turned purple and swollen, which clued us in on that. Right, some of us don't know this, but the poison was in the fish. Eh? I saw him eat the fish before. He was fine then. That's because the poison wasn't injected yet. Wasn't injected? What's that supposed to mean? There's a mechanism below each of our plates that have the ability to inject poison into our food. Kit's fish was poisoned this way. What? Not only that, the one who operated the mechanism to po poison Kit was one of us. What? But why? Aren't we all in the same boat? That's the next discussion topic. I found a note. Crumbled and thrown away note had a message, choose one, on it alongside instructions on how to operate the mechanism. What? Why? I'm just guessing here, but I believe the clown passed the note to one of us. And that person must have thought that they will be released if they obey that note. Nope. Eh? The clown told me that there is a spy. One of us here is a spy pledged by the clown, and that person is also the real killer. That's... who is it? <laughs> I will never tell. Eh, it's Matt, right? Hey! But don't try to scare me. It must be you. Why the hell do you think it's me? Because you were invited by the clown, had a fight with Kit, and not to mention, the note was found in the cookies. What? Hey, wait. I didn't kill that guy. I'm innocent. I know. And I... eh? What? Are you sure? Positive, which is why I'll discuss our final topic. Who? I also thought Matt might be the killer, but there's something that bugs me. Hmm. Me finding that note was too convenient. I doubt it was dropped by accident. Are you saying it was planted? I, I don't understand. Unlike us, Matt is a prisoner. Matt has gone through an investigation by cops, and I doubt he would do the amateurish mistake of dropping a vital clue like the note. Besides, before I came down by the slide, I heard him complaining about something. Ah, that's right. My food was switched. With hers. Ah, really? She had the fortune cookies first? 
Uh, uh, now that you mention it, that's true. Uh, I think I also saw that. It'll add a one to your final answer. The killer is... I forgot her name already. Uh, 50-50. <coughs> dang it. <coughs> ah, dang it. No. Ding, ding, ding. That is correct. Wait, wait, what proof do you have? Fortune cookies tasted salty to Lara. It's supposed to taste sweet. Uh -huh. You mentioned you're from around the ocean. Looks like the saltiness got absorbed in the cookie when you broke it open. Uh, not to mention, you said you were sold in slavery. You're technically the clown spy if he bought you. Uh, I... Uh. Well done, little Ada. Like I promised, here's a gift for you. A bottle? What's in it? The antidote to the poison you all drank. What? Are you... <coughs> Lara? Uh. Ah. Oh, ho, ho. That's what happens when you eat a lot of food laced with a slow-acting poison. You die first. Ah. You freaky bastard! You said we could go if you solved your the case. Oh, ho, ho. You're afraid to leave. I never said anything about curing the poison inside of you. Audience, be ready. The best part is about to happen. Let's see today how desperate humans react in a dire situation. Hey, little girl, give me that antidote. <laughs> hey, what the hell? Back off, bitch. That antidote is mine. Yo ho ho! Yes, show us your true colors. Give me that. Ugh, back off, old man. Didn't you hear me? I said... <coughs> uh. No, no! Yeah. <coughs> yeah. But that's... Everyone is... Uh, stay back. Oh, officer. What are you going to do? Um... Drink it. Eh? What? <coughs> D Darwin? I said drink the antidote. Okay. I, I saved half for you. This stupid girl. Uh, what are you doing? How heroic. And boring. But why? If the antidote could be shared, we wouldn't have had to fight. Th that's... He is right, you know. <coughs> Little Adder, listen to my last words very carefully. Uh, eh? Uh, okay. This country is not a bad place. Generations of peace have simply stagnated their growth as they grew complacent. If only... If only someone could remove these weeds, the flowers might blossom once again. Little Ada, I have a son. I hope you'll meet him someday and tell him that I am sorry. Tell him that I always wished. Boring. No! We have a winner. Congratulations, little Ada, for surviving the death games. Oh, cheer up. So what if everyone had to die for you to win? If it was not you, it would have been someone else. Just show me the way out. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho, of course. Go through that door on the left and the guy there will escort you out. Ah, but I hope you'll keep our games here a secret. Otherwise, yo ho ho. And that's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed today's show. I know I did. Splendid! We'll return next week with another game. With more participants, more drama, more blood, 
and more death. Till then, good night everyone. May the aristocracy of Scion live forever. This country is not a bad place. If only. Hey, clown! Oh, you haven't left yet? What is it? You know what would make this game more interesting? Oh? Tell me. Tell me. How about... A match between you and me. Eh? eh? What are you... Wouldn't that be interesting to watch? Your favorite host fighting amongst the participants. That was a bigger reaction than I expected. Hey, what the hell? Stop hijacking my show. What do you say, clown? Surely you'll not let your audience down, right? Yes. Participating in the games? Myself? Hmm. Oh, what's wrong? Didn't you tell me that a true showman will do anything he needs to for the audience? You're playing with fire, little Ada. Really? Then prove it. Play a game with me with our lives on the line. If you win, kill me. But if I win, you'll kill yourself. If you dare make this deal... Yo ho ho. Deal. I'll make sure you suffer a thousand times over before I kill you. Fine by me. What game should we play? Since I challenged you, I'll allow you to decide the game. Such arrogance. Very well. Men, bring the fire stage set up. Fire stage? These are heat events. A very strong fire burns below them. We will stand on one each. The fire is set to vent out by a valve controlled by a mechanism. The controls of the mechanism is at every audience member's feet. He will decide who gets burnt and who doesn't. The game will be a debate. The one who gets lower approval from the audience will get burned. Like this. Looks like I'll be literally playing with fire. Yo ho ho. The debate will continue until one side admits defeat, or gets burnt to a crisp. Yeah, ha oh, oh. I wonder if a roasted town clown will taste funny. Eh? So it's that easy to get the audience to like you? Looks like I was worried for nothing. You coming? Uh. Very well. Let's begin. I'll let you choose the co topic for the debate. You sure? Yes, I'll crush you in the place where you feel most confident in. Very well, let's start with your identity. Eh? Debate, begin. If I get this correct, you're not just this show's host, but also its owner. Of course, I own, operate, and host this show. Put up such an elaborate death game without drawing the attention of, a, of the law, you must be someone very special. Oh, did you become my fan? Of course not. I'm just spitballing here. Then maybe, considering the situation, you're part of the Scion royalty. Uh, eh? What makes you say that? The fact that you hold power over officers like Darwin. Whoop! Dang it! I didn't read that. Like Darwin and the people of high standing, like... <clears throat> doctors. According to the Matron, the doctors who adopted me were of pretty high standing. For you, to kill them without a second thought, and no one even speaks of it, you must definitely stand above the aristocrats. Yeah. Yo ho ho, how can you prove it? Do you have any evidence? Evidence? Why would I need one? Did you already forget the rules? The audience is the jury. The audience is deciding who is right and who is wrong. Evidence is unnecessary. Uh -uh. <laughs> you decide who speaks sense here. Vote now to tell us what you really think of my opinion. You think the audience will listen to- Yeah! 
Did you forget, clown? Ugh. These people, they don't care about the truth. They just want to think that they're right. And for that, they're willing to sacrifice many people, even you. Ugh. You little shit. You think you know everything about the aristocrats of Scion? I know enough to roast a clown. Oh yeah? Then let's make it our next debate topic. Sure. Did you know that aristocrats are divided into different classes? Yes, if I remember correctly, after the royal family, their next highest rank is Duke. Correct. Then there's the Marquis, Count, and finally Baron. What's your point? My point is, unlike the common people, aristocrats are a higher level of existence. You may not understand, but aristocrats have a different life, different way of thinking, and a different taste for entertainment. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Interesting argument. You're saying that a common person cannot compare to an aristocrat? One common person? Try a thousand of them. One aristocrat is more valuable than over a thousand commoners, like you. Fine, I'll accept your theory, if you clear some doubts I have. Sure, what is it? Do the aristocrats... bleed or die? Eh? Uh -uh. Bleed or die? Of course they do. Then how are they that different from common people? In fact, how are they different from animals or bugs, for that matter? You... aristocrat is about living a good life. Don't tell me you've never wished for such a luxurious life. Of course I do. I'm just saying. In the end, all of us, whether rich or not, have the same end. Besides, didn't you say that aristocrats have a higher level of lifestyle and taste? Doesn't mean they also have different... problems? A common person can only think about survival, but an aristocrat has all its basic needs covered. However, in return, an aristocrat has to worry about problems that are much more grave in nature, like maintaining order. And honestly, I'd rather go hungry for a day than develop a tumor from all the stress of an aristocrat lifestyle. Yeah. But then, you do admit that aristocrats have it tough, right? If you want me to say that they work on a different level than us, then I agree. Yo ho ho! You heard it right. Fire up the- That doesn't mean I sympathize with their troubles. Huh? Have you ever been to one of those, what do they call it again? A small festivity with boiled grass. Tea parties? Yes, that. Those parties are not even about tea. They're all about one-upping each other. By comparing yourself with others in class, rumors, clothes, and many more. What's your point? I'm saying, you people are creating your own storms and then complain when it... Rains. You create your own storms and then complain when it rains? Eh? You people have created a lifestyle where class, etiquette, and standard of living matters more than survival. And then you want to complain on how hard your life is to those who are still trying to make ends meet? Ah, what the hell? Why are you agreeing with her? She's insulting you. It's not their fault. They instinctively always knew what I spoke was the truth. I bet even you felt that. Uh. They must have pressed the button out of sheer instinct. That's how much they've repressed their hearts. Uh. So what? It is their right. They have supported this empire ever since Siam was just a small country. Correction, they were the real aristocrats that helped build the kingdom. Eh. What do you mean by the real aristocrats? These people are the real aristocrats. No, they aren't the people who built this kingdom. They're really just their descendants. Riding on the backs of their ancestors' hard work. How dare you insult us like that! Audience members, take her down! You can do that, but wouldn't that be proving their point and breaking the rules of the game? How is this breaking the rules? The audience was always supposed to have the final say. The point of this game is for the audience to answer honestly. If your audience fights me simply to vent their anger but they agree with me in their hearts, wouldn't that ruin the game? Mm. If you start being dishonest in your games now, what do you think will happen to your future games? Uh -huh. Lies and dishonesty stacks. If you allow this one lie to go through, wouldn't it mean that will only destroy this god's this game's reputation? Once your reputation is destroyed, what makes you think that they will come to this game again, knowing that you'll cheat? Yeah. But but you're wrong about the descendants riding on their ancestors' glory. Really? 
Yes, many of the current aristocrats have served as the army, taken down many kingdoms, and now control them for Sion. Interesting argument. But doesn't winning a war requires a... Uh, what are they called again? Don't you require soldiers for that? Which I believe is made up of common people. Uh, so, so what? It's a general who leads them. It is his strategy that wins the war. Sure, but didn't we recently fight countries only those that are not even... even one-tenth of our size? Eh, I guess. So how's that winning? Can you say for certain that our army will win against another country with the same power as us? Uh, of course. What makes you think we can't? Oh, nothing. Just that the Great Cyan Army can't even take down... Da, 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 da. You. Eh? Me? You have literally slaughtered God knows how many for your death games. The fact that you're still hidden well despite all this speaks volumes of the army's incompetence. <sighs> yeah, that really hurt. Looks like they agree, and it also seems like they're dedicated to playing this game fairly. Uh. Just like I said earlier, you drew them in with your honesty, and now you're paying the price for it. You created this problem, with your own hands. Uh. Stop it. Interesting. I remember someone else asking of you the same thing. The day I was here, didn't Rachel beg of you to stop too? Did you stop? <laughs> oh wow, even the audience remembers. I will chop you into little pieces. Sheesh, it's just a little fire. Compared to what you've been doing, it's practically a tickle fight. No, it's not. Ah. The audience agrees with me, so it's true. Y y you. That was funny. Do it again. Uh, uh, what are you. Ah. Again. <laughs> again. Stop. I give up. You okay? You... Of course I'm not... Well, I didn't mean to rush you or anything, but we have a very important appointment to keep. Eh? Uh, what appointment? Did you forget already? Your appointment. With the Grim Reaper. No, 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 no. This is completely unacceptable. Unacceptable. Doesn't change the fact that it's true. Oh, uh -huh. that's where you're wrong, little girl. Everything can be changed for the right price. My dear audience members, do you truly wish for me to die? Yes, we do. Such savagery. This is why I love you all. But did you ever think what would happen to this show if I died? I'm the only one capable of running this show with attracting the attention from the royalty and their beliefs. If I'm gone, what do you- do you think that this wonderful show that you all enjoy will be able to continue this smoothly without any hiccups? No. Then how about we forget this ever happened, I promise. In return, I'll make this show more bloodier and more fun than before. Ha ha ha. There, you see? Problem solved. Shocked, are you? You may be a smarty pants, but I know what humans truly desire. Speaking of which... I promised them more blood and fun, right? Oh, oh, oh. Do you like my puppies, little otter? Oh, and I know what you're thinking. Do they bite? Well, the short answer is... Yes. Ha ha ha. You, I must admit, your brutal death will always be a pleasant memory to me. Why? Why? It's a little late to ask that question, don't you think? I don't understand. Think about it. Why isn't she here? Eh? 
Why isn't my mother here? Here's something you didn't know, Shepard. The sleepless wolf only behaved because it was on a leash. What is this? I don't get it. She's always watching me. It's been a week now. Eh? Um... <laughs> Did you lose your mind? Then again, was it ever in the right place? I don't understand. 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 <laughs> That's it. Suffer more. Let me see the look of despair on your face. This... Could it be? Could it be? Careful, Shepard. The wolf is slowly realizing it. Show me the despair you're feeling. It now knows that the leash which held it back is now gone. Huh? W why are you... She's gone. She's dead. <laughs> this girl is too... Forget it. Wolves attack. Back off. What? I'm free. I'm finally free. Why did the wolf stop? Get her. No more. No more being under constant supervision. Run, Shepard. Run away as fast as you can. What the hell? Is it somebody, anybody, kill that girl. Stupid dogs. Useless. Move away. I'll snap her neck myself. Huh? What the? Huh? <laughs> Calm down, everyone. Everything's under control. What? No! Your race mistakes, Shepard. Setting it against its own kind. Now, thanks to you, it has an unstoppable army. Good boys! Oh, when did you start to control them? Aw, was Mr. Clown mad? That's what happens when you stray off your path. Eh? Ah? Uh, didn't you know that when you make a promise and break it, bad things happen? Ugh. Don't worry. Now that my mom's not around anymore, I can help you get back on your path. Get back on my path? You mean... Yep. I'm going to have you die. Just like you promised. I am a good girl, after all. You... You are crazy. Stay away from me. Puppies. No. Time for lunch. With the shepherd gone, how can the sheep protect themselves from the fangs of the wolf? Did I give you permission to leave? <laughs> What's wrong? Isn't this what you came here to see? So stay away. Aw, are you guys mad because the clown died before he could fulfill his promise? Let us go. Do you know who we are? Aw, I don't know where the clown kept the money, so I doubt I can refund it back to you. Hey, are you listening? Oh, I know. Didn't the clown promise you more blood and fun? I can give you that, too. Eh, you'll host this show? Why not? Ah, but I don't have participants. Hmm. Oh, I know. Why don't you guys participate? No. Puppies. Dinner's ready. Go and get them. When Ada went missing with her adopted parents, Matron Adelina, Adeline knew something was wrong. She contacted the authorities, which led them to the secret underground stadium. When the authorities finally arrived, Everything was already over, and what they saw froze them in place. A vast stage full of corpses. Wolves going around, eating the carcasses. And the middle of all of this... <laughs> a 
child, laughing innocently in the madness. Goodbye, Shepard. If you want to blame anyone for your misfortune, blame yourself. For it was you who ignored my letters. If only you had taken my warning seriously, she could have stayed there for eternity, keeping the world safe from her ambitions. By the time you get this letter, you would probably be dead, but I hope whoever finds this letter would take my warning to heart. The wolf only knows how to devour. Don't try to kill her. Even fate did not dare touch her. Imprison her. For eternity, if possible. Yours truly, Evelyn Hollowheart. P.S. If you're reading this letter, then I'm already dead. <laughs> Several years later. Stop laughing already. Either tell me the joke you've been laughing at for all these years or stop laughing already. Well, I mean, this is a mental institution. But there's no place to- if there's a place to, place to laugh for no reason, it's this place. You? A mental patient? Yeah, right. If a crazy person like you solves cases, then what does it say about normal people? Aw, you sound angry. Did the wife make you wash the clothes again? You didn't even give me enough water. I was this close to washing the clothes with my saliva. Well, enough chit-chat. I need your help again. Oh, another case with no leads? You came to the right person. It was a burn victim. The others are claiming it was an accident, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Speaking of cooking a person, Kenville next door gave me a very good recipe. I don't know. What? You just have to replace human meat with chicken. He says it's like vegan cannibalism, so it won't taste as good. Ada. Fine. Where's the body burn the most? Eh? Um, according to the report, the chest area was more burnt than the rest. Then you're looking for a killer. Eh? If I want to burn myself, how would I go about burning my chest first? I'd drop a light by my feet. Eh? Well, wait, that makes sense? One cannot burn himself like that, but someone else can, by throwing the light on you. Bingo! <laughs> It isn't enough to catch the criminal, but it's more than enough to keep the case going. Thanks. Don't mention it. I did promise your father that I'll help make this empire a better place. Just so you know, I never blamed you for my father's death. I know. So, why don't you stop punishing yourself and set yourself free already? It's not punishment, but a leash. Leash? After that day, I realized that I'm a loose cannon when set free, so I decided to restrain myself. So that's it. Hello, Duke. B but boss? Uh-oh. So, this is the reason why I've been able to solve so many cases these days. Y yeah, so what? I tried telling you about Ada, but, no n but none of you believe me. Are you that desperate for a promotion? Do you take help from a lunatic who was in the center of the aristocrat massacre? To be fair, I only helped him when he was stuck in moments like these. He handled the rest himself. Why shouldn't I? If it helps put real criminals behind bars and make my country safer, I'll do it. Besides, don't pull that massacre crap on me. We all know what was actually going down in that underground stadium. Duke, you will stop speaking of it. You know it was forbidden by the Emperor. No! My father died trying to expose it. A fellow officer. Do you feel nothing about it? I feel like a third wheel in this conversation. So what, Duke? You'll destroy the aristocracy? aristocracy, the Empire will crumble. The Empire is already crumbling, if you haven't noticed. Entitled, ignorant aristocrats are already running into the ground. And ever... and even this... and ever since this... and ever since this... that Draziel showed up out of nowhere and became close with the Emperor, things have become worse. The country is nothing without its people. If the Reach keep on harassing them, they'll... They will revolt eventually. That's enough. Move. I wish to speak with her. Your eyes are yellow, like a wolf. 
Thank you for noticing. I was born with them. Unlike my neighbor from two cells over. You are the person who single-handedly crippled this scion aristocracy in a single night. What do you have to say for yourself? They should have known better than to break a promise. It would have made things a whole lot simpler for everyone. I see. You're smart enough to solve cases, right? Then tell me something. How do we get the, arist the aristocrats under control? Oh, that's pretty simple, actually. All you need is a leash. A leash? Yeah, something so terrifying that will always threaten to destroy them if they act out of line. You, Are you talking about fear? Yes, fear. It works really well. I personally experienced it myself. This leash needs to be a pretty terrifying thing in order to scare them into being in line. So how about it? Eh? How about what? How about becoming the leash by being a cop yourself? Me? A cop? Eh? Boss. Duke, I always knew what you spoke was right. I didn't have anyone who would step alongside me on it. But Ada is... she... Ada is the perfect leash. She's already infamous among them as the monster who killed aristocrats and is still alive. And I don't know how, but you have managed to survive all executions and assassination attempts on you. It's a secret. She'd get released and made into a cop. That alone will scare the hell out of the content aristocrats. What do you say, Graceheart? I say... I accept. <laughs> Wolf Spain 3, Wolf and Shepherd, and... Next episode, Medieval Chop 9, Song and Silence Pipe. Song and Silence Part 3. Whew. Links in the description. <laughs>